Some of you may be looking for something, you know, to really get a little bit more out. I know sometimes for me, if I'm dealing with some anxiety or stress or whatever it is, something, you know, a little bit more mental, maybe it's bled off into my body and I can kind of feel it. I need something a little bit more, you know, not faster, but a little bit more progressive, a little bit more, um, you know, to, to eliminate some of that leftover built up energy. Here's going to be a practice and we're going to try to keep this, you know, around seven minutes. Um, that might work for you, but be mindful with it. Remember, just like in any other practice that you do, focus on your breathing so you can get the most from it. And it again makes you be more mindful. If you put more emphasis in your breathing, the likelihood of you injuring yourself is going to be less because you're going to be putting more effort into breathing than just the movements, which means you're not going to overfocus on the movements means you're not going to overdo the movements. But again, this is going to be pretty quick. We're going to keep this moving pretty quickly. So um, might be a little different practice than something you're used to. But um, you know, if you want to give it a shot, give it a shot. It is going to be probably pretty challenging. It's probably going to be pretty challenging for me to stay on time with it, explain what I'm doing, and keep my breathing going. You know, so I imagine it's probably going to be you know, seven minutes, you know, six, seven minutes, it's going to be pretty challenging for me as well. Okay. Let's give it a shot, right? So, start off on your belly. Fingertips wide, tops of feet down to mat, elbows next to ribs. We're doing cobra, and we're going to probably do quite a few of them during this. Okay? So, inhale, lift chest and shoulders. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale, lower, curl toes, inhale, push up. Exhale, push back. Hold down dog for about three or four breaths. Let those heels drop. This is a practice that you could probably do at the end of the day. You know, maybe, you know, you come home, maybe you kind of need to get rid of the stress from the day. This might be a good one to do at the end of the day. Inhale your right foot forward. Keep your fingertips around your right foot. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, lunge, lift your chest, drop that left knee. Inhale, straight. Exhale, lunge, lift the chest, drop the knee. Inhale, straight. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Left hand stays down, right hand goes up. Hold and breathe. Exhale, right hand down, right foot back, hold plank. Tailbone tucked, elbows locked, hold and breathe. Just hold and breathe. Big inhale, exhale lower, tops of feet down to mat, inhale back bend, exhale lower, inhale push up, exhale push back, keep breathing. Okay, left foot forward, right leg stays back, inhale straighten leg, exhale lunge, chest lifts, inhale straight, exhale lunge, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, right hand stays down, left hand goes up, lock that right knee, press into your right heel, reach high, breathe deep, exhale, hand down, left foot back, hold plank, elbows locked, knees locked, hold, breathe, Exhale, lower, tops of feet down to mat, inhale, back bend, exhale, lower, curl toes, inhale, push up, exhale, push back, hold and breathe, big breath. Okay, three, inhale, plank, 
Exhale, lower. Tops of feet down to mat. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, lower. Curl toes. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. One more time. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Hold. Drop to your knees. Core is still strong. Tailbone's tucked. Extend right arm, left leg. Hold. Like you're being pulled in both directions. Keep breathing. Release. Left arm, right leg. Release. Shift back to child's pose. Hands back by your feet. Three breaths. Breathe. All right. On to your back. Interlace your fingers back behind your head. Press through your heels. Draw the balls of your feet back. It's the yogi crunch. Take a big inhale. Push, exhale out. Lift chest and shoulders. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Don't pull on your head. Inhale down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. One more. Exhale, release feet to mat. You can hold on to your ankles. You can keep your hands by your side. Lift your hips to bridge. Keep breathing. Lift them high, keep your head, neck, shoulders, you know, neutral, relaxed. You're just on your shoulders, you're not jamming up your neck. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, release. Always like to end with a good twist. You squeeze knees into chest. Let the knees go over to the right. Take a few breaths. Squeeze knees into chest. Let knees go over to the left. Squeeze knees back into chest. Always take a little break. That was only, that was only a, just under seven minutes. So about six and a half minutes. Lay back for like a minute and just relax. Once you feel relaxed, you know, again, it's like six and a half minutes, but a pretty easy, good routine, you know, a little bit more faster pace. I broke a sweat doing it. It only took six minutes, you know. So be mindful with it. Always use your breathing, you know, and keep practicing. Enjoy, friends. See you next time.